Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are back on the assassin. We have a super strong build for you with him today. We are going to be running swing thrust. It is going to be extremely strong. We got swing inclination, thrust inclination and weapon expert. We run multicast mastery, divine legacy, synergetic and sure footed. For our skills, we will be going through them. We're going to be running Twin Dagger and Backstab, both going to be very, very strong, providing us with haste and finesse. We then run ourselves on guard uh, and then either Quick Strike, uh, Spear, or, uh, you know, Spear Trap or shape, um, Sharp Spear with Rapture, one of the, the three of them. It's, uh, it's up to you which one. And then we run Double Slash and Heartrending Strike. So let's hope we get all of them going over there. Now this does provide us with a Haste and Finesse. It does provide us with Bulwark and more Finesse, more Bulwark, uh, and then also Form and some more Haste. Now, why that's important is because of the way that the new system or synergies work. Uh, if you have two finesse skills, you get a power up called finesse to bulwark. If you have two bulwark skills, you get something called bulwark to aptitude and so on and so forth. Uh, the actual uh, way that it goes, I'll put it up onto the screen now, is it goes finesse to bulwark, bulwark to aptitude, aptitude to prowess, prowess to resilience, resilience to form, form to haste and haste to finesse. Now in this case, we can get the finesse to bulwark, we can bulwark to aptitude, we can get form to haste and haste to finesse, but uh, that's about all we can get. I think the hardest one in one single ball to get is actually amplitude with everything else here. But uh, the rest of them are actually quite easy to get on, you know, a seven skill build. Uh, getting that aptitude is going to be quite difficult if you wanted to go full circle, uh, like a lot of people like to do with these buffs, because you do need two of each one. The best way to do it would probably go with skill changes throughout the session or throughout your cycles. So you need two of the skills. So because we have two finesse and two haste here, we can get finesse to bulwark and haste to finesse. So that already is really, really strong just for this. We can already get quite a lot of, you know, uh, finesse going over there. We're not so worried about the haste, but having a lot of haste does actually mean that we can get rid of, uh, uh, you know, we can grab a lot of Leviathans without worrying about the movement speed because we're going to be grabbing a lot of movement speed along the way because of the haste. So if you did grab, you know, quick, not quick uh, strike, the other one, the, the spear, um, then you will be able to get even more haste and you'll be even faster and then you can grab all those rare leviathans because they are actually quite strong and they're going to be very very good and then we got form over here uh, we do want to try and get ourselves the amplitude from bulwark so we do have bulwark ready now uh, now we just got to get lucky and then there are uh, quite a few upgrades to the assassin the first two that you get the common and uncommon upgrade to his ascension are going to give you more damage they're also going to give you uh more uh cost frequency for his ascension if that's a word of saying it so over here we're actually going to lock this because i do want to show you how it works we grab that uh like i mentioned before we can grab the sharp spear because of the haste as well uh yeah we'll go we'll grab it piercing is actually quite fun in this game so we're gonna just you know land up grabbing that again we can go and skip this we can getting a lot of really juicy upgrades over here oh my goodness this just I, I don't know what to say over there these upgrades are so much more important than this bounty hunter but i really want to show you what it does so let's go there oh my goodness no nope. It's just not working for us. Okay, we'll, we'll have to just skip the crit chance over there. What's going to happen is, uh, as you can see, we've got 34 damage and 25 cast frequency. Sorry, 30% damage and 25% cast frequency. As we grab this and we pause there, it goes up to 34% damage. It only seems to increase the damage modifier. I mean, it does say increase the damage modifier, which is really, really cool. It just means we do a lot more damage. If you land up picking up a lot of those, because it is additive, you can land up getting quite a lot of extra damage. Uh, even though it's additive over there, 
his ascension is actually multiplicative so the the number itself goes up is additive but the damage you're going to be dealing is uh multiplicative so it can be very 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 strong uh, usually we play the paladin uh ooh, duration gets increased so we can go from 42 seconds all the way up to 46 seconds that's massive now because the duration does get uh increased and the uh, the 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 damage gets increased we actually get put into a really really strong spot here what that means or what i mean by that is we can actually get his ascension up permanently and then what's going to happen is we're going to deal a whack ton of damage to absolutely everything because of the damage being multiplicative and because it's a, a common i mean an uncommon upgrade we will see it quite often uh, there is our first one we get haste to finesse that is a beautiful one because we do have the three skills to haste so that's going to be really really good we can go and upgrade that and then we used a lot of you know locks which is a bit unfortunate uh what do we want here multicast chance we get 40 percent that's actually massive so we will lock all of these just because they are all very very good over there a lot of multicast coming up over there we don't even have a scent of blood over here and we're already over 130 stacks of finesse which means we get even more uh cost not cost frequency multicast which is beautiful i mean yeah multicast i don't know my brain just like fried over there it's a bit weird but anyway so we we are very strong as you can see we've already killed the first set of bosses the second set should be spawning anytime soon you know as soon as i stop running around and i actually sit still and do what i'm supposed to do here we've get bulwark to aptitudes so now we have a lot of form being used so we've got a lot of crit chance and now we're going to get a lot of crit damage so whenever we apply bulwark in this case we get like 160 stacks of it and every time we're applying it we now get a chance to apply amplitude but like i mentioned before we don't have any skills that have amplitude you would need two of them to go from amplitude to prowess and then you would need two prowess skills to go from prowess to resilience and so on and so forth so if you did want to go full chain you could land up getting two skills that do it and then swap them after you've got the uh the synergy skill and go from there but uh, it's a lot of work it's quite difficult to do and you know by the time you get it is is it really worth it when you could just you know get the amplitude and then you know most of the, the 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 meta skill which I have, i'm still working on a video for it uh, has prowess in it already so you don't need the amplitude to prowess necessarily especially since we use scent of blood and we're going to get a lot of stacks anyway the other thing is we've got this open slot for sure-footed you could just swap that to the battle standard which gives you prowess or 10 percent chance to get prowess so i do wonder if that affects uh you know possibly getting that extra uh you know does it count as a source would be quite interesting to know all right no more locks unfortunately that is just how it is we do have our ascension there we are looking for more of the damage we're just not seeing it it is uncommon but uh there's a lot of uh upgrades we can get so we would have to kind of get rid of a couple of things and go from there i don't think we would need armor and block chance so maybe we could have got rid of those we still can actually we can banish them and see if we're going to see things a bit more we do have a lot of bulwark and that's going to be quite strong for us we don't need the movement speed anymore we can get rid of the armor uh, hp is still good keeping us nice and healthy and we are already four minutes into this and it is completely insanely strong i mean just just look at us i think assassin might be able if we invest into his ascension might be able to deal more damage than both the barbarian and the paladin so we'll i'll have to you know mess around with it a bit more but the the paladin and the barbarian do have access to uh some stronger skills as well so uh we we might have to use like a skill mastery instead of you know s the the inclinations and things like that add a couple of skills here and there like a prowess slam or or something like that but this is very very strong i mean finesse uh haste and bleed is quite good uh we get the bulwark and finesse we're getting a lot of skills that get finesse 
which can be very very strong and then having haste on a skill as well like normally we would use uh, quick strike in a build and on guard and having all of these skills already available for us does put him in an advantage advantageous situation also if we added sense of blood because we use swing uh, inclination anyway we're still going to be really really uh, strong and not really waste a skill slot over there uh, we do kind of waste the the weapon mastery or weapon expert but because twin daggers is actually pretty strong already uh, that's fine we might not even need scent of blood it just depends uh, over here we're just going to grab the multicast for everything damage for nearby damage beautiful uh, we can even reduce the time even more so now it's down to 36 seconds and i would have liked to have done this in under six minutes but uh we've been messing around a bit too much in terms of running after things to kill them so it can still corner we're not really worried about the 20 percent uh you know damage reduction over there there's nothing that they can do that's going to stop us do have to kill the assassin target though so we do have to move a little bit out of the corner run back to the corner there's another bulwark to amplitude and just before we lose all our buffs we will have a look at our stats just to see how high they are again we do have to remember that we don't have scent of blood in this build so if you had scent of blood things would be going even crazier you could replace like your double slash because we do have enough finesse already you could land up getting other skills as well to kind of put in there but this is just insanely strong already I mean, we're hardly taking damage. We're getting a lot of stacks without sense of blood. And there it is, done and dusted. So we had nearly 300 crit chance without any effort in crit. I mean, uh, did we took 28% uh, crit chance. But because of form and because of how many stats of it we had, we had 281% damage. So nearly three crits every attack. Uh, we had a nearly 600% crit chance, crit damage, sorry. Uh, a, a decent amount of cast frequency over there with a 200% multicast. This doesn't take into consideration the damage and multicast on the skills already. You know, that is a different amount. You can see our movement speed at 324%, and it's just really, really insane. We had 77% block chance but we didn't have any resilience so we didn't have any damage reduction so there are some things that you still need we didn't find any prowess to resilience because we don't have prowess so adding in prowess into this build maybe using the uh, ruin and then a uh, skill uh, 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 skill mastery for prowess and getting a prowess skill uh, would be very 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 strong there so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.